everybody. So Dad oh has uh, written a speech. And this is Sandra, by the way. Jill Anderson is actually oh, Johan's sister. And I will kill you. And she has made her suffer for it by covering her in gold and suffocating her. I will do that right after I deliver the speech. Um, okay. So do you want me to read it or do you want to read it? Do it. It says, <laughs> don't lose the message. Johan Fori, you have found the way to enjoy life. You have discovered the art of living life with a smile. Life is like a rhapsody if you only know the tune. I question that. <laughs> you found that tune as a very young boy. You were, you... You wore a big smile already as a little boy wearing only your oversized green morning coat and rubber boots stretching up to your knees. You did. You had a taste for information technology already at an early age. You made the early generations of computers to your toys, or rather your tools, be it Atari and Texas Instrument, or what it was when the other boys were playing soccer or played with their small toy cars. Um... <laughs> We know that when you get serious, you really get serious. Get really serious in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> capital you, 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 you read this one before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we cleared it. <laughs> edits, edits, edits. You, you turned your boy interest and hobby into your profession. You became so much a part of the academic world that we thought for a long period that was your choice of marriage status. Your time constantly ahead of the game. Your time was fully occupied with the world of IT and the socialization and the socializing together with your good friends in Boston. Um, that's what we could monitor yeah, until you became really, really serious. In capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail, in capital letters, also. came into your life. And with that, the bonus for us of having Abigail as a member of the family. A.K.A. Abba for the rest of you. Abby? He's so lucky. Is, is, is Abby, right? No, no, Abby. <laughs> You're not so lucky, he's so lucky. <laughs> Abigail is making your both is making you both smile what abigail is making you both smile and serious and be serious the two of you are refining the art of socializing you have managed to blend the cocktail hour in your kitchen with the cooking to the, <laughs> to the level that your friends forget about the hunger or <laughs> when finally the food is on the table finally <laughs> is that in capital letters yeah <laughs> Was it 2003? <laughs> <laughs> what about Easter? Uh, P.S. Uh, Did we not like the ham this year? The ham? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know why? It, it was ready. Animal. It was ready because we glazed it in the morning. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we're getting towards the end. <laughs> and Johan, you are managing and controlling it all with your warm smile. All of this is a wonderful preparation of the life after 40. According to recent and scientific research financed by Google, <laughs> you have only lived a third of your life. There are plenty of years ahead. I'm going to be on 120! For your exciting life. And I will die in 80 years precisely. <laughs> There are plenty of years ahead for your exciting life, games, and play, combined with the right sense of seriousness. For your birthday, all of us authors from Arizona, we want to contribute, contribute to your game and play life. You did not play much with the small toy cars when you were a little boy, as we know. Those cars were too simple for you. <laughs> so, our birthday gift to you is to enjoy the game behind the steering wheel of a racing car on a fast track for the big boys, capital letters. Nice. Or maybe you prefer the steering wheel of a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. For that day, the choice is yours, <laughs> as well as the choice of the racing track in the Boston area or in Arizona. We salute you. Happy birthday.
because now I have to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get over it.